In this video, I'm going to cover a few points on things to think about regarding truck versus trailer setups. Then I'm going to talk about the equipment that makes up your bin cleaning machine in a little more detail. When you're comparing truck and trailer systems, there are pros and cons to each, as with everything. As we move along, you'll see the differences as well as the different ways that you can put together your equipment. This will help you find a setup that will best suit your needs and work for you. No matter what setup you end up choosing, the performance and efficiency of your equipment will be the same in a truck or trailer. Let's start with truck mounted. If you already have a truck that would work, then it makes sense to save some money and use what you've already got. Experience. For some people, it's just easier to drive a truck and not have to deal with a trailer, especially if you have no experience with towing a trailer and you're feeling nervous about it. Make sure that you consider the area you want to operate in. If your neighborhoods that you want to operate in are tight, a truck might make more sense. Of course, it's shorter and you can get into tighter spaces more easily. When it comes to carrying capacity, no matter what type of truck you decide to use or already have, you'll need to take into consideration the carrying capacity. Let's move on to trailers. If you already own a vehicle capable of towing a trailer, then from a cost perspective, this immediately makes the trailer option attractive. As far as trailers go, you could use a double or tandem axle trailer that has two sets of axles. The extra tires allow the trailer to handle more weight. A higher payload capacity means more room for your equipment. Mainly, it gives you the option of carrying more water so you can go longer without having to dump and refill. Water is about 8.3 pounds per gallon, so the weight adds up fast. A single axle trailer is smaller, much easier to maneuver, and great if you want to keep your unit as short as possible. The small size makes it fuel efficient, easier to handle, and it's less expensive than a double. You may want to consider a split system. A split system is when you divide your equipment between your vehicle and a trailer. For example, water tanks in your truck and your pressure washer and wash bay and lifter on a small single axle trailer. This lets you divide the weight and opens up more options for keeping costs down and using vehicles that you may already have. The success of your business does not depend on having the biggest capacity. The success of your business depends on building a setup that works for how you want to run your business. Did you know that you can get the same performance from either of these systems? It's not the size that matters, it's all about the equipment. Not unlike the performance of a sports car, it's all about what's under the hood. That's what makes the difference. Understanding the equipment in your bin cleaning machine. First, let's go over the basics of all bin cleaning equipment. Every system, regardless of the manufacturer, is comprised of four parts. Bin lifter, wash bay, water tanks, and a pressure washer. However, every manufacturer deals with this equipment differently. Let's take a closer look at each part. The bin lifter. Most of the manufacturers use an oversized and expensive bin lifter that was really designed to pick up full garbage bins and empty them. These bin lifters were designed for use on garbage trucks. That's why they're large and expensive. Here at Bin Wash Systems, we build a compact, custom-engineered bin lifter designed to lift empty trash bins quickly and efficiently. Our hydraulic bin lifter is built for the job of picking up empty bins. Using equipment that is specifically designed for the job it will be doing keeps costs way down compared to the other way. The wash bay. Because a wash bay is large does not mean it's efficient. A larger wash bay does not do anything other than add more material that you're paying for. The wash bays are designed to capture any water and items that come out of the bins as they're being cleaned during the wash cycle. We build a wash bay that is optimally sized to do this in a compact and efficient manner. Water tanks. You must decide whether you will reuse your water or not. Some manufacturers will tell you the only way to go is with two tanks, one for fresh water and another for wastewater. Others will tell you use one water tank and reuse the water by adding a filter system. The truth is, both ways work just fine. It's more a matter of your preference and what kind of setup makes the most sense for you. 
all sizes and shapes of water tanks are available, so finding one that works for you is pretty easy. Pressure washers. They come in all sizes and configurations. However, bigger is not always better. More gallons per minute does not mean better performance or efficiency from your bin cleaning system. A higher gallons per minute means the more water you are using during the cleaning of a bin. Therefore, the more water you must have on hand throughout the day. Five gallons per minute is ideal, along with using hot water. This will help you manage your water capacity as efficiently as possible and provide you with effective cleaning power. And the perfect setup is? Well, ultimately, the perfect setup will be different for everyone. As we always say, the most important thing is to get started. Get yourself up and running so you can start to secure the territory that you want. This industry is still new and there isn't much, if any, competition yet. It won't be this way forever, so now's the best time to start.